adventure. Here's romance. Here's the famous Robin Hood of the Old West. Chico, the sheriff, he is getting closer. The Fay Pancho, Pablo. The Cisco Kid. to our exciting story of The Cisco Kid. As the old Southwest grew, so grew the fame of the hard-riding, law-upholding Cisco Kid and his faithful ally, Pancho. But it was inevitable that in many cases the truth be garbled and that Cisco and Pancho be looked upon as outlaws. Now and then, this latter belief was deliberately helped on by such men as King Bannon and Mark Conley. As our story opens, Bannon and Conley are standing in an alley between two crude buildings in the frontier town of Cactus Vista. It is a rainy night, but through a window of the larger building comes light enough to help the heavily armed men in their preparation. Hey, turn around, Mark, and I'll tie that kerchief over your nose and mouth. Uh, you sure picked a good night, King. Won't be nobody coming into that store. We ain't taking no chances. Now, remember, when we go in, you stand at the door, and if anybody comes along, you blast them. There, that's not all the hold. Now you fix my kerchief on me. Mm -hmm. Better give me the setup again. The post office is in that store, too, ain't it? Yeah, that's right. And in that post office safe is $2,000 in gold. A couple of prospectors brought it in this afternoon. It's supposed to go north on the stage day after tomorrow. I heard them talking about it in the cafe. Mm, $2,000 ain't much money for a job like this, King. Mm. Yeah, plenty when you need it. Our luck ain't been good lately. Another thing, quit calling me King. From now on, till this job's over, I'm Cisco and you're Poncho. Hey, hey, loosen that knot, will you? It's a little too tight. Oh, all right. <laughs> well, we're sure got up to look like them two umbrages. What with these here boleros and fancy boots. I've been waiting for a chance to get even with Cisco for a long time. Ever since he had me sent up in Denver for lifting the gun out of a store. I've been watching them close for the past six months, and tonight they're in this neck of the woods. Hey, with that kerchief on, you sure could pass off as Cisco. You're about his build. And you're about Poncho's build. Don't make no mistake now about letting them know we're Cisco and Pancho. Come on. Uh, about time to close up the store on Curtis, Susan. Won't be nobody else long now. That suits me, Uncle Ned. You're sleepy, huh? No, I'm not sleepy. I'm just nervous about that money in the safe. <laughs> Many a time we've had lots more money than that in there, Susan. Yeah, don't get nervous over a couple of thousand dollars. Just the same two thousand dollars is a lot of money and a lot of responsibility. Oh, I know I shouldn't be nervous. Maybe it's because it's such a dreary night. And besides that, Cisco kid and, and what's the other one's name? Oh, uh, Cisco and Poncho? That's it, Poncho. Well, the sheriff told me this afternoon he heard they were camped around here somewhere. Kind of like to see them, too. Uh, heard so much about them. I certainly don't want to see them. According to most of the stories I've heard, they're uh, pretty good armies, both of them. The sheriff doesn't seem to think so, Uncle Ned. He told me he was expecting trouble with them before they left these parts. And he said if they were around here tomorrow, he was going to tell them to move on. Yeah, this sheriff ought to know better than to go around scaring young girls with such talk as that. Yeah, you do a lot to do, Susan, and I'll count up the money we got in the chair. Stand still and don't make a sound. Yeah. You, senorita, get over against that wall. And you, senor, get that safe open. Now, wait a minute, mister. Wait, nothing. Get going. You better open it, Uncle Ned. Come on, come on, come on, come mister, on. Mister, whatever's in that safe is in the keeping of the United States Post Office. And it's staying right there. Either you get over to that safe or... Hey, drop it gone. Oh! Shut up. Or you will get it, too. You old hombre trying to throw a gun on me. You, open that safe. I don't know the combination. Listen. I tell you, I can't open it. I don't know how. Yeah, I will open it myself. Grab the money out of the till, Pancho. Hey, there's men running this way, Cisco. We got to get out of here. Hey, and open up on them. No, there's too many of them. We ain't got a chance. Come on, out the back way. Quick. <laughs> For 
the last time, Pancho, I am not going to write this letter for you over again. Uh, Four times is enough. But, Cisco, Pancho keeps thinking of things to say to his cousin-in-law, Porfirio. You have said enough to him, amigo. <laughs> Read the letter to Pancho again, huh? Oh, Santo, must I keep reading the letter to you all this morning as well as most of last night? Just, just one more, Cisco. One well, more. only once more. <laughs> then I will seal it for you, and you will take it over to the post office window behind you, buy the stamp, put it on the letter... And take the letter with me, no? No, 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 no. No? You put it in that box by the window and leave it there. Now, you understand? Uh, read the letter again, please. Oh, Mark. very well. Find you just once more. Good morning, Miss Susan. Good morning, Sheriff. Didn't expect you'd be working today after what happened last night. Somebody has to run the post office. Yeah, don't worry. We'll get the buzzards, Miss Susan. This reward notice I'm putting up will bring them in in 48 hours, or I miss my guess of mine. Well, that's a good letter, Cisco. Um, Pound you by the stamp, huh? By the stamp, amigo, and put it on the letter. Right here. Cisco, do it for Pancho? I will not do it, Pancho. Oh. You must learn how to do it. Sometime you might wish to mail another letter. Mm-hmm. Now you go to the window, and I will see what is on that notice for. Mm-hmm. When is this, senorita? Good morning. Um, um, Pancho like to buy a stamp for this letter to Porfirio. Oh, excuse me. Uh, uh, Pancho, forget something. Uh, Cisco! Hey, Pancho. How big a stamp? Pancho. Pancho, never mind that letter. Come here quickly. Oh, oh. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, the same need to take a look at Pancho and run right out the store. Pancho, look. Huh? That notice says we are wanted for murder, dead or alive. Dead or alive? One thousand dollars reward. But Pancho and Cisco not murdered nobody, Cisco. Of course we have not murdered anybody. But that notice says we have. Pancho. Where does that senorita go? Mm, Pancho not know. She just take one look at Pancho and First she... I will tear down that notice. And go to the door and look up and down the street. She's running in the sheriff's office. Come, Pancho. Why did you run after the senorita? We are not running after her, Pancho. No? We are running to talk with the sheriff before she can tell him we are here. Uh-huh. Before he can start the whole town shooting at us. Post office now, Sheriff, both of them. They called each other Cisco and Pancho, just as they did last night. Oh, is that so? Well, momento, Sheriff. What? Do not get up from that desk. Do not try to draw your guns. Pancho, watch the Sheriff closely. See? Si. Now close the door. Please make yourself comfortable in a chair, senorita. I assure you, you will not be harmed. Pancho, uh-huh. I'll load the Sheriff's guns just to remove temptation from his mind. See, si, Cisco. So you're the Cisco kid, are you? Real rough and tough life. I have no time to bandy words with you, Sheriff. I'm here only to tell you you are mistaken in thinking we committed murder, as that sign in the post office said. Might be somebody else close by that wouldn't agree with you, Cisco. How about it, Miss Susan? You did commit murder, and you can't deny it. But, Senorita... You and that man came into the store last night just as you were going to close. And when my uncle refused to open the safe for you, you shot him down in cold blood. And then he grabbed what money there was in the till, and you both went out through the back of the store in the house. Senorita, it pains me to say you are wrong, but Pancho and I did not leave our camp all last night. <laughs> Pancho and Cisco writing a letter to Porfirio. I suppose you can prove you didn't leave your camp, Cisco. Unfortunately, there is no way we can prove it, Senor Sheriff. <laughs> but I am telling the truth when I say that the first time Pancho and I were ever in that store was this morning. Don't you believe him, Sheriff? These are the two men, and I was right there, and I saw them. Did you see our faces, Senorita? Well, no, you both had kerchiefs over the lower part of your faces, but... Pardon the interruption, senorita, but did those men speak? You know very well you spoke. You beast. Well, Pancho, not a beast. And the voices, senorita, they were ours? Well... You are not sure, eh? Yes, I am sure. Perhaps they didn't sound exactly the way you're talking now. I, I can't be certain of that. I was terrified. But it's easy enough to anybody to disguise his voice. Arrest them, Sheriff. Wish I could, Miss Susan, but as you can see, I ain't in much of a position right now to arrest them. Why don't you open that door? Here. Yeah. We'll call the horses. Yellow! <laughs> Yellow! Once again, Senorita and Senor Sheriff, you are mistaken. We are going to prove to you that you are mistaken. And for now, adios. Come, Pancho. Here. Yeah. A couple of pretty nervy hombres coming in here. Yeah. Well, they're the two men who were in our store last night, Sheriff. There's no doubt about it. You ought to know, Miss Susan. All right. I'll get out of posse and we'll hunt down them two killers just as if they were a couple of mad coyotes. We'll rest the horses, Pancho. Uh-huh. We are high in the hills and we can watch the town below. And Pancho and Cisco watch for the posse, Cisco, huh? We'll watch for the posse while we are talking, amigo. Yes. We will take note of how big a posse it is and in which direction it will ride. 
Oh, she's got What's the matter, Pancho? Oh, Pancho still got that letter to fulfill you. Never mind the letter, Pancho. Oh. Far more important things to consider. First, someone has been impersonating us. Huh? Mm, Pancho not know what that means. It means they have been making people believe they are you and me, Pancho. Me, me, Pancho. Me, me, me. And when they make people believe that you and I are murderers, that is very serious. So why do they do this, Cisco? I do not know, but I'm going to find out. Uh-huh. Now, you must try to think as they would think. Uh, Pancho. Okay. If you were not Pancho, but we're trying to make believe you were Pancho... Mm, Pancho is Pancho. See, I know you are Pancho, but we are pretending. Uh-huh. So, if you were making believe you were Pancho... Mm, Pancho could be make believe he's Cisco. No. And no. Cisco could make believe he's Pancho. Pancho. But Pancho would still be Pancho, and Cisco would still be Cisco. Never no. mind, Pancho, never mind. You watch for the posse, and I will do the supposing. Like it may be that those two hombres, whoever they are, have a very cruel sense of humor. What are they going to do with the latest supposing? They must have to do what they did. Got it, maybe. So I think they might want to hear what people would be saying about us. Cisco! Cisco, the party. Look, look, down there. Ah, see, si, it's a big party, Pancho. He's coming right up this way, Cisco. See, si, to the north. Uh-huh. So we'll make a big circle to the south, Pancho, and go back down into that town. What you say, Cisco? We go back into the town. See, si. But Cisco, Pancho, here you say, we want it for dead or for alive. That is what the notice said. Mm, Pancho, let it be wanted for alive. That is the chance we must take, amigo. Mm. And now is the time to take it. With most of the men in that party riding out this way... I have a strong feeling the hombres we want are down there in that town. Mm, Pancho got a strong feeling Cisco making a big mistake. You do not have to go with me, Pancho, but I am going. Mm, mistake or no mistake, Pancho go where Cisco go. Where Cisco? What logo? One and go! Perhaps Pancho was right. And Cisco is making a big mistake to go back down into the town where they are wanted, dead or alive. In just a moment, we'll continue our thrilling story of the Cisco Kid. And now, back to the Cisco Kid. With Cisco suspecting that the two men would return to the scene of the murder, he and Pancho are stretched out in the shade of a building across the street from the combination store and post office where the murder was committed. Their hats are pulled well down over their eyes. I think no one will pay much attention to us here, Pancho. They will think we are taking a little siesta. They not know we strangers, Cisco? Well, what if I do? Hmm? There must be other strangers here. It seems to be a very busy little town. Uh-huh. As long as they do not see our faces, I do not think we will be troubled. And Pancho not just see any make-believe, Cisco, and Pancho go into the store. He's watching, amigo. Uh-huh. Of course, I may be wrong, and the two hombres we want may not appear, but... Pancho, you see? No, no. Ah, the left of the store. Those two hombres. Oh, Pancho, see them. The larger the two... Who is he? You know? Mm, I do not know. There's something very familiar about his face, but I cannot quite remember him. Mm-hmm. Watch closer, Pancho. I like that. This hombre is approaching the store. Seems to be a little bit nervous, eh? Mm, he's stopping to look at the store. Mm, they are suspicious of something, that is sure. Mm-hmm. Now they're going into the store, Pancho. We went too. No, no, no. No, we don't go in. They went in, so they'll have to come out again. Uh-huh. We will wait. Mm-hmm. And then we will follow them, amigo. <laughs> Better get out of here, King. Oh, don't get so shaky, Mart. Hey, she have notice over there? Wanted for murder. Come on, Mart. Let's take a look at it. Dead or alive? One thousand dollars reward. <laughs> well, what do you know about that, Mart? We sure framed them good and proper. <laughs> Not so loud, King. The girl's looking at you. Now she's coming over here. Can I wait on you? Well, no, thanks, ma'am. We were just in here looking around. Might buy something later on. That's all right. Hey, miss, where was that murder committed? Right here in the store. Oh? That uh, notice ain't been up long, has it? About an hour. There was one up before that, but somebody tore it down. Uh, tell us something about that murder, will you? If you don't mind, I'd rather not talk about it. Please excuse me. Now, come on out of here, King. All right. All right. I swear you're more skittery than an old maid, Mark. I was just thinking of coming back here tonight and making another try for the money in that shave. How about it? 
I don't know, but I'll, I'll think it over. I was just thinking I wish we could get our hands on some easy money. Like that reward money. Yeah. Hey, that wouldn't be bad. Well, why don't we go after it, Mark? That's an idea. <laughs> no, <laughs> if I could get reward money on Cisco, I wouldn't stop laughing for the rest of my life. There's a posse out after him, you know. Well, that ain't no sign the posse's gonna get him. I know where Cisco's camp is. Let's ride out there, Mark. Maybe we can catch him off guard. Pancho, I thought those tall guys are coming out of the store, hmm? A big hombre. Somewhere, sometime, I have had dealings with him. They get down their horses, he's going See, and after they get started, you and I will ride after them, Pancho. They could be the two we want. They're just about our size. Now, come. We'll get up slowly and walk over to the Avon Loco. I believe those dealings I had with that big hombre were unpleasant. Oh, they lay out in the direction of our camp. Say. No, no, no. No, we are not going to hurry, Diablo. Oh, we're going to ride slowly this way. Cisco. See? Aren't you one of these hombres ride us into a trap? Oh, I do not think so, amigo. Certainly they did not notice us sitting in the shade of the building. And if they notice us now, one of them just looked back. Ah, that is all right. It's natural for horsemen to ride this way, as many as wish to, judging from the looks of the road. Yeah, now they ride faster, Cisco. Well, we ride faster, too. Up the other cow. Oh, we're going now. Now they're riding very fast, Cisco. Oh, I noticed, Pancho. Seems they want to get away from us. Mm-hmm. And that in itself is suspicious. Come. We'll stop fooling now. We overtake them and question them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, yep. Go, go, go. Oh, Pancho, think they got very fast horses, Cisco. Uh, we have faster horses. We are overtaking them. Uh, now they ride up to the little canyon. Where they ride, we also can ride, Pancho. Uh, up to the little canyon, Lobo. What's the matter? You gonna let these other horses beat you? Cisco, now there's only one horseman ahead of us. Get off, Pancho, get off! Get off, Pancho, get off! Oh, oh, oh. Pancho, think, oh, all the breath knock out of here. Oh, I'm also seeing stars, Pancho. <laughs> That's nice rope, Mark, nice oh. rope. You dragged the both of them off the horses at once. Don't move either of you. Mm, Pancho, that can move. Get the guns, Mark. <laughs> you wasn't quite so smart that time, Cisco. You are quite right, hombre. It did not look for your friend to turn quickly to the right at the top of that rise and rope us as we rode past. It was a very clever trick. I got the gun, King. King? That is the name. Yeah. King Bannon, Cisco. Remember that name? Now that you mention it, I remember not only the name, but you. And you were just about as mean and only a thief as I ever saw. Oh, is that so? <laughs> well, how do you like that, Cisco? You are a very brave hombre to strike a man whose arms are held fast by a rope. Yeah, and I'll do it again. <clears throat> Boy, this poncho must get loose. This rope should not be too hard to get out of. Bring your arms close to your body, poncho. Uh-huh. Watch him, King. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Show the one twist, we are free. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Go on, King. Uh-huh. 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 It does you no good to shoot a place where Cisco has just been. Get you yet, Cisco. Get the one, Pancho. Please, Cisco. I do not know what you're doing out of jail, Pancho. You will soon get back in jail. Hang on, King. The pot is coming. Cisco, the pot is coming. Now we stay right here, Pancho. And finish what we are doing. Hold on. All right. Get him up, Cisco. You too, Pancho. Come on, reach. So we block you down. There's no cause for such excitement, Sheriff. I'm glad you are here. Now you can question these two hombres to see what they were doing during that murder last night. Don't let them trick you, Sheriff. No, no, no. You are the two hombres I'm interested in, Cisco. You and that other sidewinder. Yeah. Me and my friend here are putting in for that reward money, Sheriff. We held him until you got here. Who are you? He is an hombre. You would do well to question thoroughly, Sheriff. <laughs> He's just sore because we got him, Sheriff. Me and Mark are right in with you, and you can pay us that money any time. <laughs> Why do you walk up and down the cell, Cisco? Because I am stupid, Pancho, to be oh? tricked into being roped and arrested and put in the jail by that King Bannon. Uh, anyone is tricked once in a while, Cisco. Uh, there is no excuse. To make it even worse, that bandito is tricking the sheriff into giving him the reward money. Oh? I heard the sheriff say he will give it to him tomorrow. Uh, Cisco, I think the bandito Bannon committed this murder? See, I do think so, Pancho, but I have no proof. No proof, huh? Senorita still insists that we committed the murder and that... Cisco tired of walking? Pancho, I am doubly stupid. No, not could be, Cisco. According to what the senorita said this morning, those bandidos did not get the money in the safe last night. You find your member. So, since everybody thinks we are the ones who tried and knows we are now safely in jail, 
There'll be no watch kept on that safe. Yes, 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 yes. The bandidos will know that too, Pancho. Uh-huh, now uh-huh. listen. Uh-huh. We are going to get out of here. Pronto. <laughs> Pancho, I like that. But how? Oh, we will make believe. We still make believe, Chico? Now listen to me, Pancho. I listen, I listen, I listen. I will call the sheriff. You call the sheriff. We will make believe there was something in the coffee he gave us that poisoned us. Poisoned us, poisoned us. I will try to get him to come close to these bars. Uh-huh. And if he does, I will grab him. Ah, that's good, she's good. And when I do, you reach for the bars and get one or both of his guns. The both, I get. All right, I'll go. Mm-hmm. Sheriff! Oh, Sheriff, come here, please! What's the matter with you? Oh, please come here, quickly. Oh, we are very sick. Oh, hey, sick? Oh, she, she. Must have been something in the coffee we had for supper. Oh, oh. Panzer's stomach. There wasn't anything oh. wrong with that coffee. What are you trying to put over? Oh, look, look, Senor Sheriff. Look at my arm, how it has swelled up. Oh! Uh, I'll take a look at it. This is a trick. Uh, oh, now, Pancho! Let's go, Pancho! He's gone. Hey, Pancho got him. Give one of them here. Here he is. Now, I release you, Senor Sheriff. But stay right where you are. Or not this cell door. Not by a dog for I won't. Senor Sheriff, I mean every word I say. I will shoot you with your own gun unless you unlock this cell door this moment. So I guess you win again. Yeah, gracias. Out quickly, Pancho. Sheriff, you get in the cell. No, get in the cell. All right. My apologies to you for having to do this. Also for having to borrow your guns. But we will return them. Come, Pancho. Disco, unlock the window. I think so, Pancho. Uh huh. There, there. That did it. I will go in the store first, Pancho. You follow me, then lower the window. Now make no noise. Easy. Okay. All right. Come on, Pancho. Oh, 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 Pancho got trouble getting into the window. But it, 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 it. Ah. Here, Pancho. Now we'll cross time behind this corner and wait. Uh-huh. I think we will not have to wait long. You say you leave it? Just room from the back of the store, I believe. Now listen, listen. Some ways up the window on the other side of the store. When they come in, Pancho, we waste no time the last time. Here, Pancho, understand. Are ready, Pancho? Ready. Now! Hey, 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 hey watch out! Hey, hey, oh, I'm leaving, Pancho! You are leaving for nowhere, Pantero, except for Dreamland! Oh, Chico, do not leave even one of them for Pancho! Crack a match, Chico. Uh-huh. There must be a lamp in here. Who's out there? Hey, hey, Pancho, find the lamp. Oh, gracias. Oh, good heavens, what? Senorita, again I assure you, you have nothing to fear from us. Now please, look at those two hombres on the floor. They have on the kerchiefs. Are they the ones who came in here last night and murdered your uncle, or are we? I, I don't know. They look like the men, but... Look closely, senorita. Yes. yes, these are the men, of course. Those kerchiefs are the same. The clothes, they're the men who killed Uncle Ned. Gracias, senorita. Pancho, go let the sheriff out of his cell and bring him over here. This murder has been solved. ashamed to look at. Oh, do not be ashamed, senorita. It was a perfectly natural mistake. Thank heavens the mistake was corrected in time. Fortunately for Pancho's neck and my neck it was. <laughs> yes, but... Cisco, must you leave today? I've hardly had a chance to get acquainted with you. Oh, I will be back someday, senorita. If I have a memory to bring me back. A memory? What kind of a memory? Oh, the senorita would perhaps leave her face for just one moment, eh? Yes. Oh, senorita. Oh, Pancho is getting hungry. Oh, he is always getting hungry. Adios, senorita. Hey, Pancho. Pancho not yet mailed that letter to his cousin-in-law, Porfirio. Oh, so you have not, Pancho. But you can mail it tomorrow. No, no. Pancho goes to keep the letter. But what for, Pancho? When you write a letter to someone, you should send it to him. Pancho got two reasons to keep the letter. Yeah, the first. And Pancho proud of his first letter and want to keep it. See, see, and the second reason? My cousin-in-law, Porfirio, not can read. 
And so ends another exciting adventure with O. Henry's famous Robin Hood of the West, the Cisco Kid. Sure to listen again for another thrilling adventure of the Cisco Kid. Cisco Kid was played by Jack Maver. Poncho by Harry Lang.